Hmm. Is that fluid in the pop fossa? Oh wait, that's anisotropy. What she just said? Anisotropy? Anisotropy. Anistrophy. Anisotropy. Anistrophy. Anisotropy. 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 Today's scanning tip is about how to identify and correct for the artifact anisotropy. Anisotropy is an artifact that occurs in musculoskeletal ultrasound imaging when the sound beam interacts with the structure at a non-perpendicular incidence. We see this most often in tendons and ligaments, but we also see it occasionally in nerves and muscles. The normal tendon has a hyperechoic fibrillar pattern as we see here in this bicep tendon. In the transverse scan plane, we see the bicep tendon in the bicipital groove as a hyperechoic oval structure. By making just a slight angulation of the transducer, we see that the tendon becomes more hypoechoic or an almost anechoic in echogenicity. This is the artifact anisotropy. By angling the transducer so that it's more perpendicular to the structure, it then takes back its normal characteristic that's hyperechoic. It's important to recognize that the transducer manipulations are very minimal but have significant impact on the ultrasound image. So when we're correcting for anisotropy, you're actually angling the transducer inferior or superior in a transverse scan plane or heel towing the transducer in a longitudinal scan plane so that the beam is perpendicular to the long axis of the structure. By practicing these small transducer manipulations, one will be able to fine tune your scanning techniques and be able to correct for the artifact anisotropy. That's your scanning tip for today. Now you give it a try.